What if I told you that the most classified bomber project in US history just got an upgrade so revolutionary that it's forcing China and Russia to completely rethink their defense strategies? The B-21 Raider was already being called the most advanced stealth aircraft ever built, but what happened behind closed doors at Northrop Grumman over the past 18 months changes absolutely everything we thought we knew about this ghost in the sky. And here's the thing that's going to blow your mind. This isn't just about building a better bomber. This is about rewriting the rules of global power projection in ways that most people don't even realize yet. Before we dive into the jaw-dropping details of this upgrade, let me paint you a picture of what we're really dealing with here. The B-21 Raider isn't just another military aircraft. It's a technological leap so significant that defense analysts are calling it the most important weapon system of the 21st century. But here's where it gets interesting. The recent upgrade I'm about to reveal doesn't just improve the B-21's capabilities, it fundamentally transforms what a strategic bomber can actually do in modern warfare. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, didn't the B-21 just make its first flight in 2023? How can there already be a game-changing upgrade? Well, that's exactly what makes this story so fascinating, and it all comes down to something called open architecture. But we'll get to that revolutionary concept in just a moment, because first, you need to understand what makes the B-21 so special in the first place. When the Air Force first unveiled the B-21 Raider in December 2022, the world got its first glimpse of what 30 years of stealth technology evolution looks like. This isn't just a prettier version of the B-2 Spirit, it's a complete reimagining of what a strategic bomber should be. The B-21 is smaller than the B-2, sure, but don't let that fool you. It's been designed from the ground up to be virtually invisible to enemy radar systems that have evolved specifically to detect older stealth aircraft. But here's where the story takes a stunning turn. The upgrade that's been implemented over the past year and a half doesn't just enhance the B-21's stealth capabilities, it creates what defense insiders are calling a adaptive stealth system that can literally change its radar signature in real time based on the threats it's facing. Think about that for a second. We're talking about an aircraft that can essentially shapeshift its electronic footprint mid-flight. The technical details of how this works are still classified, but here's what we do know. The upgrade centers around something called the Integrated Sensor Architecture, or ISA, which is basically the B-21's nervous system. The new system can process threat data from multiple sources simultaneously, satellite feeds, ground-based radar networks, other aircraft, even submarine communications, and then instantly adjust the bomber's stealth profile to counter whatever specific radar frequencies it's facing. Now here's where this gets really wild, and this is information that's just starting to leak out from defense contractors. The upgrade doesn't just make the B-21 harder to detect, it can actually make the aircraft appear to be something completely different on enemy radar screens. We're talking about electronic camouflage that could make a B-21 look like a cargo plane, a passenger jet, or even a flock of birds to enemy air defense systems. But the implications of this technology go far beyond just avoiding detection. And this is where the geopolitical chess game gets really interesting. China's been developing their H-20 strategic bomber specifically to counter American air superiority in the Pacific. Russia's working on their PAKD program for similar reasons. Both of these programs have been designed with the assumption that they know what American stealth technology can and cannot do. This B-21 upgrade just threw all of those calculations completely out the window. Let me give you a concrete example of why this matters. Right now, if you're China and you're looking at potential conflict scenarios in the South China Sea, you have to plan your air defense networks around specific threat profiles. You know roughly how stealthy a B-2 is, you can estimate the capabilities of an F-22 or F-35, and you can position your defenses accordingly. But with this B-21 upgrade, all of those defensive calculations become worthless because you're essentially trying to defend against an aircraft that can change its fundamental electronic signature faster than your computers can process the data. The cost implications of this upgrade are absolutely staggering, but probably not in the way you'd expect. One of the biggest criticisms of the original B-2 Spirit program was that it ended up costing over $2 billion per aircraft. 
when you factor in all the development costs. The Air Force has been adamant that the B-21 program won't repeat those mistakes, with a target cost of around $550 million per aircraft in 2010. Here's the fascinating part. This upgrade actually drives the per unit cost down, not up. How is that possible? It all comes back to that open architecture concept I mentioned earlier. Unlike previous military aircraft that were essentially locked into their original configuration, the B-21 was designed from day one to be upgradable through software and modular hardware changes. Think of it like upgrading your smartphone versus having to buy a completely new phone every time you want new features. This approach means that instead of having to develop entirely new aircraft to counter emerging threats, the Air Force can essentially download new capabilities into their existing B-21 fleet. The recent upgrade proves this concept works and it's already saving taxpayers billions of dollars compared to traditional aircraft development programs. But here's where the story gets even more compelling. The production timeline for the B-21 program has actually been accelerated because of this upgrade, not delayed like skeptics predicted. Northrop Grumman has been able to streamline their manufacturing process because they're building aircraft with standardized core systems that can be customized through software rather than having to hand build unique components for each specific mission profile. The Air Force is now planning to build at least 100 B-21 Raiders with the possibility of expanding that number to 150 or even 200 aircraft depending on how global threats evolve. Each one of these bombers will be capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear weapons, making them a critical component of America's nuclear triad alongside submarine-launched missiles and ground-based ICBMs. Now let's talk about what this means for actual combat operations, because this is where the rubber really meets the road. Traditional bomber missions require extensive planning, with flight paths carefully calculated to avoid known enemy radar installations and air defense systems. The B-21's upgraded capabilities turn that entire operational model on its head. With adaptive stealth technology, B-21 missions can be planned and executed with much more flexibility. Pilots can literally change their approach strategy mid-mission based on real-time intelligence about enemy positions and capabilities. And this kind of operational flexibility is something military strategists have been dreaming about for decades, and now it's actually becoming reality. But let's be honest about the challenges here because no military program is perfect, and the B-21 upgrade does face some significant skepticism from defense analysts. The biggest concern is whether all of this advanced technology can actually work reliably in real combat conditions. Military history is littered with weapon systems that looked amazing in testing, but failed when they encountered the chaos and unpredictability of actual warfare. There are also legitimate questions about cybersecurity. The more connected and software-dependent the B-21 becomes, the more vulnerable it potentially is to enemy cyber attacks. If an adversary could hack into the B-21's adaptive stealth system, they could potentially turn the aircraft's greatest strength to its biggest weakness. Production and maintenance challenges are another area of concern. The more complex these systems become, the more difficult and expensive they are to maintain. The Air Force has promised that the B-21 will be easier to maintain than previous stealth aircraft, but some analysts remain skeptical about whether that promise can be kept as more advanced capabilities are added to the platform. Despite these challenges, the strategic implications of the B-21 upgrade are impossible to ignore. We're looking at a fundamental shift in how air power projection works. For the first time in military history, a single aircraft platform can essentially adapt its capabilities in real time to counter whatever threats it encounters. That's not just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift. China and Russia are certainly taking notice. Both countries have accelerated their own strategic bomber programs in direct response to B-21 developments, and there are reports that they're also investing heavily in adaptive radar and air defense technologies to try to counter American advantages. This is setting up what could be the most significant military technology race since the development of nuclear weapons. The global implications extend far beyond just the United States, China, and Russia. America's allies, particularly in the Pacific region, are watching these developments very closely because the B-21's capabilities could fundamentally alter the balance of power in regions like the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. 
Countries like Japan, South Korea and Australia are all reassessing their own defence strategies based on what the B-21 upgrade makes possible. Looking ahead, this is just the beginning. The open architecture design of the B-21 means we're likely to see regular capability upgrades over the aircraft's operational lifetime. The Air Force has already hinted at plans for artificial intelligence integration, hypersonic weapon compatibility, and even more advanced stealth technologies that are still in development. What we're witnessing with the B-21 radar upgrade is nothing less than the future of military aviation unfolding in real time. This isn't just about building better bombers, it's about creating weapon systems that can evolve and adapt faster than potential enemies can develop countermeasures. And if the early results are any indication, the United States has just gained a significant advantage in the ongoing competition for global military supremacy. The next major reveal in the B-21 program is expected sometime in the next six months, and based on what I'm hearing from my sources in the defense industry, it's going to be even more groundbreaking than what we've discussed today. Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on because when that story breaks, you're going to want to be among the first to know how it changes everything we thought we knew about the future of warfare.